gonna jump into hive three here. This has been a very strong little queen. She is laying like crazy. I might take one, um, I might equalize this by taking one brood frame out and giving it to hive four who needs it right this moment and they can cover it so I may, may do that. But uh, I'm also gonna treat them with uh, powdered sugar for mites. They'll groom themselves and uh, hopefully those mites will fall off. Uh, but uh, hey, we're looking forward, looking forward to jumping in here. Stay with me. All right, well, I'm jumping into hive three. Man, they're really coming and going today. They are extremely active. Last time I was here, I put a deep, a, a second deep box. Well, you can see they're already up at the top working hard. I'll leave them right there for now. Okay, so this is the honey super I added. It was really just a super. Now, I hope they fill it up with honey, but I wanted to make sure that she had plenty of room to lay. I want to check just a couple of frames. Let's go to the middle and see if they've done anything. We'd love to see them drawing it out. Really just wanted to make sure and give them plenty of room. Oh, uh, they're, they're down here looking at it. Um, not doing a tremendous amount yet, but uh, hey, it's good to see them exploring the frames and knowing they got some room. All right, let me see if I can grab this one. Grabbing this, always careful, real careful with all of them, but especially that first one, you just want to make sure you're not rolling bees, rolling the queen. Rolling would be if you get them too close to the others and you're just literally rolling them against the others, crushing them. All right, gorgeous bees, nectar, pollen, a little bit of capped honey there already. They're just doing a good job. Now there's a little bitty knot coming out, but that's just a drone cell. Get off that thing, let me look at it. It's a little bitty drone cell. It wouldn't be sticking out most likely in that direction. It would mostly be pointing down. And, well, unless it's a supersedure cell, but it's not a supersedure. Okay, lots of nectar. All right, we're gonna put this little frame. This is just an outside frame. Put it right there. All right, girls. Let's smoke you just a little bit. nearly enough smoke sometimes and I should there's no reason in not smoking them and then they get upset at you but I'll tell you these are really good bees all of them I got a yard full of really good gentle bees look at all this brood now this I do want to make sure there's nothing in here it looks odd Look at this brood. Now this brood would actually be a perfect frame, I believe, to give to the other hive that's right there. That's hive four. Okay, so we're gonna do something here. I'm gonna shake these off and donate a frame. All right, all right, so they get a little lively. Now that is a cell. I'm glad I found this. That is a supersedure cell. Growing like crazy. So I'm not going to give this to them. I'm going to put this in the two frame nuke over here. That is definitely a supersedure cell. All right. That is really interesting. And there's another queen cup. It's got a little bit of larvae in it but not enough okay so i believe that right there is a cell for sure all right let's get this off of here okay what i'm gonna do is put this in the two frame it's right here all right hang on just a second Turns out they were making something. I put that frame back in that hive and I wanted to check it because it looked a little suspicious, but I couldn't tell. And I wanna look at this one and just make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Okay, there's just resources on here. I was thinking that one was gonna make a queen. 
they haven't done anything with this one other than this is just a little bit of resources so what I'm going to do is shake these bees down alright girls there's a little bit of a queen cup there but it's empty alright so I'm going to take this frame I'm just going to set it right here alright I'm going to take this one and I'm going to Here's our, here's our cell. Lots of brood in here. Okay, I'm going to check this one. I know they need some bees to cover it too, so I'm going to look and make sure. I got some brood. There's a cell right there that they are absolutely closing in. But I just don't think that one's going to make it in time. So they're making queens. They're making a little queen cell there, but she's smaller. So I'm going to leave this one in here for just a second. Okay. And I am going to let them I'm going to put the lid. shake some more bees in here and what I'm gonna do is shake a few more bees down into there okay they will find their way in I'm gonna close this back up okay I'm gonna take this and put it back beautiful brew Alright, so I'm going to put this brood back. They got plenty of bee numbers to cover it. I'm going to take this one since there's a lot of bees on it. Yeah, it's okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this frame and put this frame back in here. Okay, alright girls. That looks good right there. Okay, well there were a few nurse bees that just didn't make it in when I shook them. And what I'm doing is just helping. And they're going to go right around the corner and make their way right in. They're going to walk right into this hive, which is what we want them to do. And those bee numbers will cover this brood. And finish making this queen. Okay, so pretty fun to watch them do that. All right, I'm gonna put this top back on, the pollen patties on there. Should be in good shape. And we got a really good queen cell, a supersedure cell. That should be exactly what we need for this little two frame. I think one of the things I love so much about beekeeping is everybody can do it a little differently there's no one answer it just depends on what you want to do and what you run into and you know i could have torn up that sort super procedure cell but i know i'm trying to make some queens so that thing looked good and i want to go ahead and give them a head start oh, this looks pretty let's see if we see the queen anywhere don't see her right off lots of brood nectar pollen just a beautiful frame. She's not on that side anyway. Alright, what do we got here? This is gorgeous. My little dance has got just got a lot happening here. Pollen, nectar, beautiful. Beautiful bees. Okay, good and healthy. Alright, good job, girls. Uh, in a little while I may scrape off that burr cone. You don't have to, but it just cleans it up nicely. All right. There's the queen. Okay, she's back down into a cell laying an egg right there. See that dot on her? She, has, she just laid an egg. Coming out of there right now. How about that? Beautiful. 
just watched her lay an egg now she's going back right back into another one let's see if we she's going to go into one of these cells that's open and lay an egg how neat is that okay here she goes that is pretty amazing all right we're going to leave her alone but she's beautiful it's doing a great job looking around now there's a little knot right there it's just a little drone this is perfect for eggs there's a little drone cell at the bottom nothing crazy all right love it okay so we got our queen on that one all right girl let me just scoot you over a little bit i don't want to get you finger under here it's harder and harder not to get a little bee every now and then when there's so many. Look at this brood. All right, I gave a bunch of brood away earlier, so I'm not going to take any more. This one's got lots of room to lay. I think I see eggs down in there. This is just uncapped brood. Beautiful. Wow. Bringing it in. All right, a little bit of honey up there. Tons of pollen brood you can just hear them churning on us all right looking good all right so they got some room i'm gonna put this back right like it was okay well i'm back and it's time to do a little bit of sugar powdered mm. sugar looks crazy But it is widely used. Okay, had a good time here with Hive 4. They are really doing well. Great numbers. Pulled a super procedure cell off of here. Wasn't their fault. It was something I inserted the other day. I was trying to save some brood that I thought that the two frame couldn't handle ended up having a they had already made a super procedure cell and uh, they were growing it in here so i put it back in the two frame we should have a little queen hatching in that one in uh, probably by the 15th of april okay these girls are doing great that guy treated them from mites with uh, powdered sugar uh if you like subscribe god bless